Hi, Jamie Ruby, Sci-Fi Vision. Thanks for talking with us today. So can you talk a bit about how important you think friendship is to their survival and everything? Uh, Zach, then Aiden. Yeah, no, I think that friendship is super important. I think that uh, with any friendship, when put in you know high stress situations, it definitely tests that friendship. It tests the interpersonal relationship of the people involved in the friendship. And I think, again, with this show, this is the highest of stakes. And, you know, with the closest of friends, like Scotty and Bo, for example, it tests them, it tests new friendships, like, you know, Seth and, and Roth, and there's uh, countless possibilities when it comes to high stakes. Yeah, I mean, I, I, there, there's a lot of friendships that are kind of forced, to, you know, you kind of, ha you kind of have to, they kind of have to be made while, while on the island and in this situation, you know, it's such a drastic environment to be placed in um i think i think you do see like evolution of friendships and, and the ups and downs of, of a lot of them like like scotty and Bo, you kind of see how they're the best of friends and then you kind of you know you kind of get a flashback as to what happened and um yeah I, I think i think friendships are very important while while watching the show how much do you think personalities versus skills and abilities kind of played into who the characters decided to trust and follow without you know spoiling obviously um i think greatly i think you know especially with aiden's character for example like his character has so much um scout knowledge which i think informs a lot of it i think that also there's a a skill within crowd gathering and, and camaraderie and leadership that i think other characters in this show really amplify as well um, I think that it really is each character provides a necessary attribute for this ecosystem to work simultaneously and sometimes for the better and sometimes for the worst. But I think that, yeah, I think that every, every skill that each character brings by happenstance uh, comes into it, comes into play at least one at some point. Aiden? Yeah. I mean, I, I agree with Zach for sure. I think every, character is so different and has their own skills and abilities that they bring to the island and and I feel like every single character kind of is helpful in a way and and brings its own energy that that you know creates um that uh, that creates resolution and also like conflict as well um I think I just think they all kind of like they all kind of clash like everyone's personality clashes but in a, in a cool way like I feel like it it, it helps keep things moving you know so uh how far in advance did you guys get kind of all the information going on and before you knew everything were there any kind of crazy theories floating around um before we knew what was going on in terms of like each episode or like what the last episode would be just like the arc of the whole season so yeah. the arc of the whole show i think that everyone kind of had their own different experience with how they found out about the show i found out about my arc pretty early just because i was shooting a lot of my um stuff first um, and I had to kind of know what I was talking about. So um, I learned a lot of my stuff pretty early on. But for the most part, I only knew the rough outline. There, there were so many twists and turns. And literally every day we would like come to set and be like, so when are we get we the next script? And I remember we were shooting a scene for 207 when we all got the email at the same time that we had gotten the script for 208. And I think Amy has a, has a video of us like literally running around the jungle screaming and shouting that we got 208 and like we were all so excited about it so they keep it pretty lock and key um and we just find out in real time which i think is just you know it's like christmas morning every three or four weeks so it's it's really exciting yeah we didn't know much about season two when we booked the role i mean when we all hopped on the plane we knew nothing i mean we didn't even know each other we, we yeah. were like trying to look around like okay who could play a 17 year old 18 year old on <laughs> tv um and we figured it out and then like while we were in quarantine in in australia like we got the first two scripts and we all like hopped on a zoom and we're so stoked and like reading them and um yeah i mean like zach said it was pretty under wraps it kind of we kind of knew things as you know as we got the scripts and um it's also a trickle down system like one person would hear one thing and then they would tell another person and then it truly became a game of telephone and it would be fairly far-fetched if, if the last person had anything to do with what the original thing had been said in the first place. Yeah, we all got, I mean, also, we, like, we all got meetings with, with Sarah and Amy before we, was it before we started shooting or, like, mm -hmm. while we were shooting? 
yeah. um, to really like, you know, go in deep about our characters and really figure out, you know, what was the purpose of us being on the island and, you know, um, you know, really, really what they were about. If you yourselves were stranded alone on a desert island, do you think you would survive? And what modern convenience would you miss most? Zach, then Amy. No, I would not survive. <laughs> Full stop. Full stop. It would end as quickly as it began. Um, I am not a very, I've never been a historically a very outdoorsy person. I'm working on it. And this show has definitely forced me to become more comfortable with it over time. Um, and what thing would I miss the most? Um, I would really miss my car. I, I, I driving is like my therapy. And I feel like if, if I lost that, even being in Australia for six months to not being able to drive was, was rough. So on a deserted island with nothing, I would, I would very much greatly miss that. I get that. Aiden? You did drive, by the way. We knew, we okay, knew. That, was, that was one time, and it was, it was not very easy. Stick shift and on the other side of the road is not <laughs> great. Yeah. Um, no, I would not survive, uh, obviously. I mean, I think, being, I think being on a deserted island is it's just like, I don't know how you could survive. Even like the, the most extreme survivalist, I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, I would not be able to survive and I would miss, I would miss uh, my family, you know, pretty straightforward answer, but obviously miss my family and um, my friends. That, that was a good answer. I should I should have yeah. said that. Now I feel bad choosing an object. <laughs> well, I did I did say an object. So that's okay. All right. Thank you both of you. you say an object. Yeah, I said okay. modern convenience. Okay, okay, great, great, great. So, well, Thank family. God. All right. <laughs> like my mom's gonna see this. <laughs>